Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started so first of all i'm very sorry for the late update today guys and as usual we will take a look at the dixie and we see that the dixie had a great uh, trading week with a very nice bullish bullish candle here after this um, uh, bottom here in this rounded bottom that we've been talking about we've got now the break to the upside if we look on the daily time frame we saw all the way here that we kept getting higher lows we uh, had this rounded bottom and the neckline got broken here very strongly to the upside and it kept pushing i was thinking that 92 maybe gonna be the level where we might see a little bit of a slowdown and a start of a correction but even that 92 got broken and the dollar kept pushing last week so it is a nice uh, push to the upside but it could also be soon time for a little bit of a correction there is still no real slowdown yet we had a very big candle here followed by a little smaller candle still a good move and the last day of the trading week last week was also a nice strong bullish candle so rsi is already at the extremes i'm thinking that um, uh, next target longer term is to fill this gap maybe and also to tag previous high but before that i'm looking now to see if we're gonna start have a little bit of a uh, correction to the downside i mean after such a huge move I'm not interested to buy late anymore so there was the buy down here on this uh, flag that got broken and uh, you should already take took some profits on uh, the dollar strength if you were long and um, yeah we will wait and see here if we will start to have some kind of a correction a little bit of a correction to the downside could be in place now especially after such a huge move i mean if we measure this whole move soon uh, when we start having a little bit of a correction we see that i i think at least 38.2 could be a nice area to watch for that correction that would be a retest of this uh, these structures here on uh, this market so something like this to start happening would be interesting to then start looking for the next push to the upside on the dollar gold also broke lower so we've been talking about the uh, the importance of this lower high and that this lower high and the double top was not good for the bulls uh, here we've got the break of the trend line also the break of the neckline and the lower low and uh, gold kept pushing strongly to the downside mirroring the dollar strength so um, next area of interest in my opinion is the 1750 down here that could uh, uh, maybe act as a possible uh, short-term support for a little bit of a bounce to the upside some kind of a correction also here uh, on uh, gold uh, could be um, uh, something to watch to see if we're gonna get a little bit of a correction to the upside uh, on this market so uh, keep an eye on the 1750 for a potential um, counter trend trade a little bit of a bounce to the upside maybe uh, otherwise <coughs> this market longer term now after this night impulse and the lower high um, my thought process here is we got an impulse could be a little bit of a correction and maybe one more impulse to the downside but um, we need to wait for that correction to start happening oil checking the weekly time frame we know that uh, the level of interest gonna be up around here at around the 75 uh, last week was um, um as you see here a spinning top candle on the weekly daily it been uh, pushing nicely to the upside we've got a bounce lower to then get rejected from that area so on the four hour time frame we have this level here uh, the 70 as for now is minor support but this market could still give you a little bit further more correction before any leg to the upside all in all i think oil is bullish long term but it could be time for a little bit of a correction so this is going to be very interesting to see now if they fail to make a new high here i think we might see 
further downside towards 68 and maybe e even at around 67 here also another level of interest uh, where the market did break and continue higher so these are uh, the levels to watch on oil if you want to uh, buy oil euro usd so uh, yeah doing the opposite of the dixie as usual we are on the weekly time frame here we see that we have now a very strong and confirmed lower high and uh, the last week candle was a huge uh, bearish candle and if we look left there is not much of support until you start looking at these levels or all the way down here those are uh, this, the only structure we have on this market as potential support so i'm thinking that this market now uh, might continue free falling until we reach this level here or this double bottom down here now the big question is it gonna just keep pushing without any correction or not that's where uh, what i'm a little bit of in, uh, interested of i want to see something like this happening again so we have something to work with to be able to jump in if you are not already short on this market you need to have some kind of a correction uh, flag or something like this to happen to then start looking for bearish evidence yeah so it is moving strongly to the downside it might continue lower uh, the momentum is here now for the bears after this uh, break of the neckline in the lower highs we had uh, and it's all about waiting for a little bit of a corrections before jumping in otherwise you would be just chasing the market uh, sterling usd also uh, same scenario checking the weekly time frame we've had this uh, nice rounded top here now and um, a clear strong move last week and if we check the rsi you see that we had a, a huge divergence here between uh, these two tops here and as you know it is the close that uh, the rsi measure so um, that been a huge uh, bearish divergence and then we've got the break to the downside if we go down to the daily we see it clearly that this range got broken and i've been saying and telling you guys to keep trading the range until you have a break out of it we've got a nice break retest inside the range failed to break higher and then it was free falling all the way down no uh, stopping anywhere where the market is testing at the moment could be a level of interest could be an area to watch for a little bit of a correction but if no no support here the next level could could be these down uh, uh, double bottoms down here now keep in mind this market been pushing to the upside for a very long time now moving strongly to the upside and we had such a week previously here as well so you might still get these moves and the market continue higher yeah but keep in mind guys if this area got broken this time i think we might see a much deeper correction on this market so this level on the weekly is very very interesting to watch and see what will happen at that area and first of all i want to see a little bit of a correction here to maybe take another short trade on this market usd jappy um, <clears throat> still looking good but uh, the the correction uh, last thursday and the uh, spinning top on friday is not showing big momentum so with still big trouble at around uh, 110.75 area that is still a uh, resistance for now and if we check the lower time frame it was a nice retest of this area still holding you might still see something like this happening a bounce to the upside or if they fail, the next level of interest is going to be at around 109.70. That might give you the next push higher. So it is still making higher highs and higher lows. So there is uh, no need to look for something else than looking for buys, in my opinion. USD Chief also a huge move. Checking the weekly time frame, you have now this impulse. We have the correction is over and yet another impulse. So it could be something like this we are watching now first impulse correction second impulse to happen and um, a nice momentum after a rounded bottom here and if we go down to the daily time frame it was a nice double bottom and then we start following this little range in our trading room we've been talking about waiting for the breakout of the range to look for further upside and the move was a huge move to the upside even here it is also time for a little bit of a correction in my opinion a retest of this area now 
is happening so uh, i want to see this market start making a little bit of a correction so we can join for the next leg to the upside for our time frame as you see there is no uh, huge corrections at all small correction here last week another small collection here and um, yeah we will wait and see if we're gonna get a little bit of a consolidation soon because after such a huge move you might uh, end up having a sideways week here uh, it is very very normal that you see a slow week after a huge week as we had uh, last week on this market usd cad also nice bullish candle checking the weekly strong move to the upside now this move here did not change the structure the structure is still bearish as far as there is no break above these highs here because it is still making lower lows and lower highs even though you had a strong push here it does not change uh, the structure yet even on the daily we left the range which is good so we were watching this range on the lower time frame we've been trading inside the range if you're following my uh, my weeklies i've been saying uh, still keep playing the range and we mentioned that this is now getting um, higher lows uh, inside the range and it could be time for a breakout we've got the breakout we've got the retest a chance to enter another breakout another flag and then it was almost one way to the upside so even here also we need to wait for a little bit of a correction on this market like 38 percent fibonacci 50 percent retracement could be something good to look for to then look for a continuation to the upside i'm not able to tell you where to wait here because honestly it could go like this all the way back down to the broken structure and then start to go to the upside or you could get some kind of a weak sideways and then one week of consolidation and then a break to the upside could happen also so these are the scenarios that you should be watching audio usd also finally broke out of the range so we've been watching these here not getting higher and that was a, a, a flag a warning flag that we might see a break to the downside we've had this fake out and then the failure followed by bearish engulfing candle and then the break out on the four hour time frame and the one hour you had the chance to enter a trade here after this uh, flag break another retest inside the range and then boom all the way down even here if we check the weekly time frame you see this market been pushing to the upside very very long time we are talking weekly of this move here so many many weeks to the upside <clears throat> now they fail to break higher make a uh, head and shoulder formation the neckline is already broken and there is room to the downside now guys so let it uh, correct and uh, do not rush there is enough time and enough room i think the correction all the way down here is very very possible on this market before any bounce higher so let it uh, make uh, some corrections to then start look to sell those rallies or those corrections to the downside in my opinion and new zealand usd same scenario while this one <coughs> broke the upper range and broke actually below this previous low which is a very important area so you see the close on the weekly was <coughs> below this level and the next market objective could be a retest of this area now so even here we need to wait for a little bit of a correction to then look to sell rallies on this market uh, keep in mind been pushing strongly to the downside it could now start making some kind of a correction back to the broken structure that would be lovely then we wait for a bearish evidence here and try to sell it or if it continues like this we start to wait for some kind of a bearish flag to then sell it one more time okay so it's all about waiting for those uh, corrections guys do not uh, chase the price uh, it is not worth it the move uh, been um, a huge move here to the downside if you measure from all the way up so some kind of a correction is needed some kind of a correction will happen uh, for sure it's all about having discipline and waiting uh, that out so uh, yeah, that was it for this week, guys. Thanks a lot and see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.